Okay, we're starting the recording now. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, JS Core Dev Team Weekly Sync. It's April the 15th, it's 2019. Uh, we're still here having fun in the distributed web. Um, let me put the link to the notes in the, in the chat. And if you, have, uh, if you are here, please put your name in the attendees list so that we know who was here at this meeting. Um, and if you have a weekly update, then please uh, add it in the notes now. Uh, could we have a volunteer for note taker? Oh, oh, we have Ollie Evans raising his hand. Uh, very good, thank you, Ollie. Uh, I will put your name down. Um, cool. Uh, so welcome. What do we do now? Most of the week, most of the week, most of the time, we normally do a weekly update where we tell each other what we uh, what we did this week, uh, what we're blocked on, and what we're planning on doing this week, just so that we can catch up. Um, and then, if we have time at the end, we will move on to cross team updates. And if you are from a team, a related team that isn't JS Core, or just want to add some update, uh, then please do add it in that section uh, in, in the hackpad, and we'll get to you in a minute. So. Uh, let us begin. Um, weekly update. What, who have we got at the top? Okay, so this is a new contributor, someone called Ah How How. Uh, I think he's called Adam. Um, I looked him up on GitHub. Um, seems to be working on the JS repo migration tool. Yes, and I know that, uh, and I have commented on that as well. So that's rad. I'm um, gonna have to have a check, check that out. Uh, looks like he has got the first version of. Uh, a repo migration tool for JS IPFS uh, and is going to be working on um, test coverage and integration into JS IPFS. So that's super cool. Thank you, Adam. Cool. Um, and I know for a fact that Dirk is not going to be joining us today either. Uh, so uh, let me just read out his update, which is just uh, he's been working on PR to limit the scope of the find peers query uh, and he's been working on async await um, endeavor. Uh, for, and he's worked on the P2P TCP and the transport interface circle. Uh, he's blocked on the multi hashing async PR, which I, which is an async await PR, which I believe Hugo will be merging very shortly. Um, cool. Okay. Next up is Jacob. Um, would you like to share your update with us, please? Yes. All right. Uh, last week, the big things JS lib P2P 0.25 got released on Friday. Um, so feel free to upgrade. The new version of JS IPFS already has it. Hooray. Um, the big thing with there is really a lot of connection management improvements uh, along with auto dial. So now when we'll, when we discover peers, we'll auto dial them. JS IPFS was already doing this. Now it no longer does it because libp2p is doing that. Um, and we'll only auto dial up to the minimum peers that we want uh, with connection manager. So it gets us up to uh, a certain level and then stops spamming the network with dials that we don't need. Um, so that should help with that. Um, yeah, you can check out the release notes and that was basically what I was working on last week. Um, this week, going to continue working on uh, network performance for JS IPFS with the DHT enabled so we can get that out the door in the next release for real this time. Um, and then hopefully if I get to that, finish this week, then I will kick off getting the uh, libp2p rendezvous um, module up to date with the latest spec. And that should be it. Any questions? Perfect. Cool. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, next up is Hugo, and he is not here. He is ill as well. He's been working on um, changing the daemon exit uh, for JS IPFS to be a bit safer, which is good. Um, provide non-generic constructor methods. Not entirely sure what that one is. Uh, okay, it's been fixing up um, the Browserify version of Browserified uh, HTTP client. Um, was yeah, it was missing a, the buffer uh, export for some reason, um, and he fixed that up. Uh, and he's doing doing some IP Nesta. Uh, it's, yeah, same thing for JS IPFS as well. Um, 
yes stuff i think you have to read through this and uh, ask him about it if you are at all interested his ip ns over dns demo is very cool nice where can we see that uh it was in last week's gui team call last week's gui team call which is available on the youtube so go and watch that nice um Cool. Okay. So he, yeah, he, like I said, he's going to be releasing the multi-hashing async, um, which is great. Um, so it will be our second green apple on the uh, async await endeavor. We have, by the way, multiple oranges already on there. Um, and uh, I don't know what the red one is. I guess that's just a red apple. Anyway, that aside. Uh, all right, cool. It's, uh, that's, that's Hugo. Um, it is on to me next. Uh, oh gosh, this is jumping around all over the place. Um, Cool. So last week, what was I doing? Um, I found out that I was doing some work on making MDNS compatible with Go IPFS, um, and I found out that there was a problem with us dialing ourselves. Um, and so I opened up more uh, PR to fix that up and add a bunch of tests. So that's good. Um, if you're interested in all of the stuff that went into lib P2P and the story of like why the DHT uh, was taken out of zero uh, thirty five release um, or it wasn 't really taken out, but it was not enabled by default um, then you should check out this uh, this issue that i 've written up nineteen eighty four um, it 's a big long story, but it is many of the trials and tribulations we 've been through um, on the road to to um, to doing it to the latest lib p2p release, which has been um, good fun but um, yeah. It's been exhausting. Um, but the good news is that last week, JS IPFS 035 was released on Friday. Um, blog post there if you want to check out what is actually in it. Um, uh, and then today, I have been working on adding tests to the um, P2P MDNS compatibility PR. Um, and it, they are all passing, so it is ready to go. And hopefully, that will be released pretty soon. So um, that's cool. I'm not blocked on anything at the moment. Um, and my next point to work on is uh, getting finally, finally getting around to sorting out these OKRs for us. Um, I need to, so Dirk has a bunch of PRs that I need to review. Um, and I wanted to help out with the DHT debugging now that now that 35 is out the door. Um, we need to continue with, uh, with making sure or trying to get this up and running so that it can be in the next release. That is me. Does anyone have any questions quickly? All right, cool. Thank you. Um, next up, uh, we have uh, Mr. Lydell. Would you like to share with us your update? Uh, yeah, so I've been uh, sort of uh, went on uh, spelunking on uh, uh, HTTP gateway in JS IPFS recently, mostly due to our integration with Brave. So if uh, anyone is interested with details of how that integration goes, uh, I gave an update on the last week's uh, GUI call. There's a link in notes. Uh, but from that work, sort of uh, JS IPFS specific parts uh, started landing. So I decoupled HTTP servers from the daemon command, and I think that was already merged. Um, there are some things that are I put in blocked section, but not really, those are not really blocking me, but basically those are missing uh, pieces that needs to land in JS IPFS eventually to have a feature parity with what Go IPFS is able to provide as an HTTP gateway. So namely I fixed streaming uh, of compressed payloads and that PR is ready for review. Uh, CI fails, but I think it's not related, so would be great if someone uh, looked at that. And there are two uh, functional uh, missing pieces in JS IPFS's uh, gateway. One is uh, ability to load a sharded directory, namely the Wikipedia is one big sharded website. So we are not able to load uh, Wikipedia in embedded node in Brave until that is implemented. I think it's uh, I think Alex uh, already like created PR. Uh, it just needs another round of reviews or something. And another thing that's missing is support for uh, basically DNS in IPNS. So uh, domain names in under IPNS paths are not supported right now. 
I've seen there was a, a contributor who said they will pick that up, but it did not go anywhere, or at least there's a, a science in ITER. Uh, I talked with Hugo, and Hugo wanted to pick that up, but now he's sick, so it's sort of like out there. Uh, Yep, so my plan is to uh, investigate range request in JSIPFS gateway because I don't think it's supported or at least it's missing headers that should be there. Uh, yep, that's up my update, I guess. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've forgotten. Uh, so uh, if anyone wants to play, uh, you can grab uh, Brave Nightly, the, like official Brave Nightly from the Nightly channel because Brave now has uh, like a beta channel, developer channel at Nightly. And then this special version with support for Chrome sockets will give you this powerful embedded API, uh, embedded uh, JS IPFS version. I will land that in the beta channel of IPFS Companion this week. But if anyone is super excited, you can read it from the branch. And that's all. Can you uh, put the link to the um, nightly, is it nightly of Brave that we need to tell? Oh, about? Yeah. yeah, it's actually in the first in notes already. <laughs> All right, right, okay, cool. Um, I think I had another question. Oh, yeah, so th what you were saying about the um, IPNS DNS link paths, I think the, the, um, the guy you're talking about was actually doing an open source apprenticeship, um, and I think that has ended now, so I don't know how much progress will continue with, uh, with with what he was doing. So if you uh, if you are not going to work on it because you think that someone else is working on it, then I would um, forget that because you can probably pick it up if you want to. Um, but maybe double check with them first. Um, cool. Any questions for Lido? All right, okay, let's move on. Next up, we've got Vashko. Would you like to share your update with us? Hey, sure. So um, I, last week, I started by refactoring the lip 2 p introspection PR that I had, uh, mostly for a uh, switch. Uh, I added more data to the streams and also did a big refactor to the code in order to, to have it more modular for adding uh, new subsystems when the time comes. Then uh, I reviewed the GS implementation of Gossip Sub that my query is working on. Uh, there are some issues that uh, need to be solved before it uh, gets ready. Then uh, I also looked at uh, Dirk's PR for uh, uh, the Sync 8 for the interface transport which was one thing that I really wanted to unblock. And then I did like a lot of maintenance work, like debugging stuff for IPNS, for the JSPFS release. And uh, also I ended up carrying this uh, large endeavor of adding uh, the Discuss LibHP IO badges to all the JS LibHP repos and also updating the dependencies of all the repos I'm kind of uh, off of the repos at the moment. Then I'm not uh, blocked in anything. And for this week, I, I want to, after, after checking the interface transport PR from Dirk, I want to make a proposal for the interface connection. Uh, I, I still need to check with Alan and uh, Dirk if they start uh, discussing something on it. Then uh, I will help make your uh, uh, debugging an issue for Gossip Sub with Publish. I'm not sure yet what's the problem, but I will also have a look. Uh, then I need to finish updating all the, the JavaScript clip to be modules with the badges and dependencies. And also uh, look at the inter interop issue with Firefox that uh, Alan uh, discovered today. And if I get time, also uh, review the streams interop tests for a little bit to be. That's everything for me. Anyone has questions? Awesome, thank you, Vashko. Um, the main news is that libp2p now has its own discussion forum at discuss.libp2p.io. Um, so uh, maybe, maybe you can add that link to your notes, Vashko, just so that People can. Yeah. Um, I, I oh, yeah, it's there already. I just maybe you can if you can link it. Um, cool. Um, all right. Go and check that out if you are interested in discussing the P2P things. Um, 
All right, Rad, next up is uh, Aching Brain. Alex, would you like to share your update with us? Hello. So I started um, last week by trying to go through some tickets on NPM on IPFS. Um, I'm one of the, basically the first one I looked at uh, was saying how slow it was to basically pull down the registry index. And it should be really quick because it's just one DAG node. Granted, one enormous not one DAG node, there's like the tip of an iceberg that is an enormous hamp shark, but it should be super quick just to pull that first one down. <coughs> it's loading more than it had to. Um, so I fixed that locally and just, yeah, I just can't bear to look at the code anymore in the MFS and the importers and the exporters because it's all very, very, very squirrely. Um, so since Volker has merged the IPLD API changes, then some of the, um, you know, stilts that the whole thing is built on start being async await friendly. Um, so I started refactoring everything to be async await. Um, and it's looking like way better. It's a lot easier to comprehend what is going on, uh, which is cool. So the, like the DAG PB module has not been done. Uh, so I've just wrapped it. I've just asynced the existing API because it's good enough. Um, so I'm going to do some performance analysis of what that actually means uh, once all the, you know, the, uh, the rewrite is done. Um, but hopefully it won't be too, too much slower. But yeah, so that's probably going to be me for the next few days at least. Um, uh, there's a possibility. Yeah, it's a bank holiday on Friday in the UK and on Monday as well. Um, so definitely not in there. There's a slight possibility that I might be out. Um, before then, some family stuff that I'm not going to talk about on the internet. Um, but yeah, that's me. Uh, yeah. Any questions? So we'll talk to what everything else. Um, Can I just say that? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Alex. All right. So next up, uh, we have uh, VMX. We have the Volker. Would you like to share your update with us? Yeah, so I'm still working on the stuff that Alex is waiting for on the IPLD format stuff. I thought the most difficult one was too the late. protocol buffers. Too late, moved on. It's too late. But now, but now I'm on the Ethereum one, and that's like, oh my god, that is so bad. Um, uh, it just takes a while. It's pretty complex. It's pretty callbacky, um, and yeah, so I'm halfway through. So hopefully I'll finish it today, let's see. And then the outstanding ones are the Git one, which should be easy, hopefully. And the Bitcoin and the Zcash are super easy because I've written them, so. <laughs> um, yeah, but this will keep me busy for the week. And hopefully not next week. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you, Volker. Any questions for Volker? Uh, in Volker, it might be an idea if you focused on the DAG PB one uh, as opposed to the, so the other ones are less used. Probably. No, the, basically the, 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 the DAG PB one is, is kind of done. The problem is just that I'm, I'm still fearing that I need to change the API because of the others. So it's kind of like I, I, I feel to discover something and then do another breaking change and so on. So but the deck critical problem is done. So it would actually be super helpful to just asyncify the existing API. And then if you want to change stuff in the API, do that later. Because that just means that I don't have to wrap things and it means that I can actually get on with stuff. Yeah, but I'm so close. I'm really so close. I mean, I say it every week, I know. <laughs> yeah, we've, been, we've been so close for months. <laughs> also, I mean, the, the current interface doesn't have that many changes other than asyncing it. Like, it's mostly just getting rid of, like, unnecessary namespaces and stuff like that. Like, that's, that's the majority of the change. No, it doesn't. Even. Anyway, it's like, I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm confident that I will be finished soon this time. I, I, week per week, I'm getting more confident. <laughs> um, if if DAG PB is done, though, can we just push that 
and release a breaking change, and then we can update it if the interface changes down the road, just so that we can like unblock all the the dang two years. Well, the problem is wait, wait, wait. It's not that easy because the problem is that it also breaks JS IPLD, and if I then mm. need to basically do the special case in JS IPLD for the protocol buffers, because the the major change is basically that now the CID like the links are really CIDs and not this JSON things anymore. And then, so it's like really like it's yeah, it's complicated. Um, so it's not as straightforward as it seems. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's let's take that offline. Um, but yeah, it would be cool to get all of these sorted this week and uh, next week if they're not done. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, cool. Thank you, Volker. Um, all right, next up, um, nothing. There's nothing left. Okay, across team updates. No one's had any cross team updates. Are you here and in a cross team and would like to give us an update anyway? Uh, raise your hand. I'll just, I'll just plug the, um, there's a meeting on Wednesday, first one for IPNS, and we're going to try to get, uh, I'm not really doing it, but Pedro and Nadine and Hugo, if he's healthy. So, and anybody else who has opinions on IPNS? Hugo had a really cool demo last week with fast IPNS over DNS. So, um, more ideas, Let's get them all in there. That's Wednesday. That's Wednesday. What time is there? Um, what's 8 a.m. here? I don't know what it was UTC. Uh, maybe you can add it to the show, to the show notes. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you. Who? Cool. Anyone else would like to give an update? Uh, it it said uh, four p.m. Uh, UTC time. Hmm. Right, Michael. Hey, yeah. Uh, just real quick on on IPLD stuff. We we are working on like the the next next version of the IPLD interfaces, and there's like kind of a big change in how you use it. But the main thing just to look at right now is that um, we're doing a lot of the performance work in there. Like we're we lazily, you know, encode and decode things. We cache the decodings. We we do a bunch of other stuff. We're, we just factored out a lot of unnecessary async operations and things like that. So, um, if you've been working on the sort of performance stuff um, that Mateo surfaced, um, getting your eyes on that earlier rather than later would be great. That's uh, in a repo called IPLD Stack JS IPLD Stack in the IPLD org. Cool. Thank you, Michael. All right, uh, if there's no one else. <laughs> All right, okay, uh, we are almost done. Uh, other notes, uh, Vashko is out on Friday. Yeah, it's public court, uh, holiday in the UK as well. So I'll add that to the notes. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll take out the UK contingency as well. Um, mostly, and uh, Volker is out on Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> on Friday and Monday. All right, this is some rad boolean logic here. Um, cool. Uh, the, yeah, discuss yeah, and person. Okay, JS IPOD stack. Cool. All right. Um, in which case, I think we're done. Unless there's anyone else who has anything else to say. Um, I just came here to bug Hugo about the bug in JS HTTP IPFS HTTP client, but he's dead. So he's ill. Hopefully not dead. Uh, cool. All right. Um, thanks very much, everyone, for attending, and I will see you uh, next time for another exciting round of what we did this week, what we're blocked on, and what we're going to do next. Goodbye. Happy IPFSing. <laughs>